Moses, 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 I am Kaira Moses from Sarama Road, Kaira Motors. Today we are here to show you how we have turned a fuel of Jayco to an electric one. As long as we are going to the traveling America from Uganda, we are going to America, we are going to America, we are going to America. The main reason for this innovation is we realize that Uganda has banned all old model vehicles. So we have decided to get all these banned old motor vehicles and turn them into electric vehicles. I started my research on how to turn a fuel vehicle to an electric in 2015 and it has taken me more than 5 years. And now I am equipped with knowledge about how electric vehicles are made and ready to make all kinds of electric vehicles in Uganda. If Ugandans can join me in the effort, it will help everyone and reduce on environmental pollution by this old mode of vehicles. This has been done because many Africans in various countries like Congo, Burundi, Uganda, Kenya, Sudan, among others, still have many of these old model vehicles, yet they pollute the environment, hence affecting human health. We have therefore gotten motors, inverters, batteries, and electric board or gear control model for every old model vehicle in Uganda and Africa at large. <laughs> If this vehicle gets finished, it will be so cheap for Ugandans to afford compared to other fuel consumption vehicles because an electric vehicle only needs few parts like a motor, converter, battery to run. Yet a fuel consumption vehicle needs many parts like plugs, coil, nozzles, engine oil, often service, among others. We therefore assume that anyone who will use this vehicle will save a lot than a fuel consumption vehicle. This is compared to motorcycles that consume fuel and those ones that use electricity to run. The process of changing a fuel consuming vehicle to an electric one is very easy and simple when you learn it. Many countries in the world have come up with this technology and often carry out campaigns through exhibitions and so on to attract the entire world. The president of Uganda encourages and emphasizes on the improvement of science, technology and innovation. We have also come out with an innovation or our innovation. We further want to ensure that youth embrace this technology as we are ready to train them. This will help our country Uganda to advance in technology. We therefore call upon everyone out there, mostly the President of Uganda and Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Dr. Monica Musenero, to pay us a visit. And you see how we have made it and how it works and advise us where necessary as we embrace the oftenly changing technology in the globe. <laughs> Is it is it
Singa doit pouvoir me céder du pain et du boulot et du ça. We have so far made three vehicles of this kind, and if we get the needed amount, it can take us only three months to complete three vehicles. We have done this to prove to the Western world that Uganda has gotten automotive experts. Through our dear Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, we request the government to support us to fight against environmental pollution by this old model phased out vehicles as we introduce our electric vehicle. We further request all African countries we further request all African and Western countries to join us in the struggle and uh, raise support where necessary.